good evening awesome people and welcome to the finally try missions of StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty on Brutal Difficulty and this and this is a Matt, keep me updated on those drop pods as they get to char if we can reach enough of them before the Zerg we might just have a chance of fighting our way through this Hopefully no more delays. This level is relatively intense. Um, we will be under constant attack and constant pressure, so the whole idea behind this mission is to... Sir, I'm tracking an incoming drop pod. It should be landing close to your position any second. Alright, let's get out there and find him before the Zerg do. So the whole idea behind this mission is to... Um, quickly get our stuff up and running and rescue as many of these guys as we possibly can. Raiders, Raiders, we sure are glad to see you boys. But where's General Warfield? I'm assuming command here. You men fall in with us, we'll see to finding your general. Yes, sir. I so love the way you kindle their hope, Jim. By all means, bring them all to my doorstep. It'll be by the lands to the slaughter. Don't listen to her. Stay focused, and we'll make it out of here together. Got it, Jim. Got it. Okay, so like I stated, that there's going to be a lot of attacks in this level and constantly too. So um, the whole idea is, like I mentioned, is to save as many dropouts as we possibly can in order to get a bigger army, with which we will afterwards have to go and save General Warfield once his ship has crashed. So it's gonna be. It's, it's going to be easier to just build a barracks over here. And make some more units. Ah, oh, man, forgot to upgrade that. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Base is under attack. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, thank heavens, I forgot. Base is under attack. Completely forgot about that little detail. Upgrade complete. Go ahead. Our allies are being attacked. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. SCB ready. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, drop pot should be coming any second now. SCV ready. The doctor is in. The doctor is in. Please state the name. Bad news. SCV ready. Ah, here we go. Sending coordinates to a nearby drop pot. We're going to be using this tank in order to help this. Factory back to the landing zone and get it building. Got it. And moving out. Yeah, we sacrificed some units, I know, but fortunately, not all of them.
Rather sacrifice one instead of all of them. Ooh. It's on. Um, we are going to be needing a couple of missile turrets. Oh, already. Shit, that was fast. No matter. We are going to handle this. We're not even going to bother with making more tanks. We're just going to use these seat breakers. Okay, things are looking good. Thus far. Is under attack. Go, go, go. Lay it off. Bad news. What's our target? Uh, Jackson's Revenge. Not just yet. Sir, another drop pod has arrived near your perimeter. You gonna give me orders? Roger that. Please state the nature of your doctor is in. Where does it hurt? You got it. See if we can pick a fight. We'll do. But we don't have concussive shells, otherwise we could have slowed them down quite a bit. Mayor power is just what we need. Secure this starport and bring it behind our guns. This better be good. Base is under attack. Oh, come on. That is getting incredibly annoying. Really, really, really annoying. Ah, but it's not the end of the world. Like I said, annoying. Insufficient Vespine gas. Really? You've got another drop pod landing nearby. Right away. Okay. Base is under attack. Our SCVs are under attack. Okay, things are looking relatively good at the moment. Don't leave me hanging. In fact, very good. Mayday, Mayday, this is General Warfield. My ship is taking terrible, terrible damage. We're on our 
away, General. Just hold on. Damn. He can't even hear us. The only way we're getting a war field is straight through those Nidus worms. <laughs> Some invasion. Okay, so from here on out, this is what's going to happen. We should mobilize everything we've got and try to break through to Warfield. Warfield won't be alive for very much longer. My pants will be drawn to his fear and that of his men. There's that something We are basically going to... Get our military up and running. I read multiple drop pods entering the atmosphere. I don't think you'll have enough time to rescue them all. Not with this much Zerg in the yeah. area. Damn it. We'll rescue as many as we can. I don't think everyone's gonna live through this. Okay, so now I have to choose between two. Um what we are going to do, we're going to wait for the last drop to cap. So um Oh shit! Yeah, this this is not good. I moved out too quickly. But um, oh, okay, it's, it's not too bad. Uh, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, we're going to be waiting for the last drop before we conclude this mission or start moving out. Reason being, we are going to be getting some extra battle cruisers, and it's something that I really, really, really wouldn't mind having. So, um, yeah, patience for the last bit. Get all of these into siege mode. These guys can wait. Making a couple of marines is also not a bad idea. Actually, in fact, spending every bit that we have now is not going to be a bad idea. There's another wave of drop pods coming in, sir. It would be too dangerous to try and rescue them all. Yes, Commander. What is it? Our base is under attack. Oh yeah, there we go. There's the battle cruisers. So we had to choose between the Thors or the battle cruisers, and my choice was quite simple. The Dominion drop pods have reached the surface of Char. Looks like we're on our own, boys. Not even a problem. Uh, we can actually attempt and see if we can get to the Thors as well. But I believe the minute that we touch these guys. We're going to um, lose our opportunity with um, the Thors, but let's try. I mean, why not? What are we going to lose? Time? It's anyways the other way around. Oh, okay. No, it's not going to work. Okay, let's move out. So I'm going to leave a couple of forces here in the base. The main reason being um, a bit of defense in order to keep our base alive is not a bad idea. If we should lose this entire army, we kind of want to have a backup or something. And I was supposed to lose that entire army because there's no way that you can survive a battle cruiser fall like that. No way. Does do the damage for us. A little bit of leapfrogging is also not a bad idea. Okay, things are going smoothly at the base. I think plain and simple, the whole. 
The whole attack is going smoothly, actually. We're doing maximum damage to the Zerg. And also making our way to uh, the Nidus Worms. Probably would have been a better idea to go for the Vikings, but oh well. Our oh, lost so many Marines with that hit. So, so, so many Marines. But we still have tons nonetheless. Nah, we're fine. How's it going here? Oh yeah, everything is still fine. GG. We've reached the crash site. With any luck, old Warfield's still alive and kicking. All right, so that is the gates to hell on brutal difficulty. As you saw, it is quite an intense level to play. Luckily, no research that you have to go after or anything on that line. This has been sorted out like many missions ago. Uh, no one need to worry about money or anything. It's just pushing you through the last few missions now. I think we have about three or so to go, excluding the having to choose between taking on Air Zerg or Ground Zerg. Nonetheless, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video. We are almost done. See you next time, guys and girls.